I think it's recording. Wouldn't that be funny? Wouldn't be funny at all. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about something that is near and dear to my heart, concealer. So before I get into it, I have a little clip of me earlier without any makeup on. Well, I had eye makeup on. You know what? Just go to the clip. Go to my face with eye makeup done, but no face makeup on just yet. Um, as you can see, my skin is relatively clear. It's not the most even skin tone anymore. Um, age does that to a gal. And my under eye circles are very dark. And they've always been that way. This isn't baby related. This is years of allergies and rubbing my eyes as a kid. And it just kind of progressively got worse. So I definitely feel like I need some good concealer to cover these up on a daily basis. So there you go. There's my face. Okay, so now that you see what I'm working with, let's talk about concealers. A little bit of history. I got married uh, in October of last year in Palm Springs, and I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, so it was a destination wedding. I contemplated um, looking for makeup artist out there, but I don't know. I just, I've never been a huge fan of getting my makeup done. I don't mind it. Uh, you know, the person always does a great job, but I never really feel like me. And feeling like me was just really important on my wedding day, so I decided to do my own hair and my own makeup. Because of that, I probably spent quadruple what I would have spent on a makeup artist searching for what makeup that I thought would last the Palm Springs heat because my goodness, was it hot. Um, but you know, I tried a lot of different uh, foundations and um, concealers and just makeup in general and I did, it, I mean it helped me in the long run because I think I did find some real uh, gems amongst all the makeup available. Okay, I didn't try all the makeup available. But I did try, you know, quite a bit. And I did my research on wedding makeup, and I think I found some good stuff. Moral of this story is I tried a lot of concealers. I own a bunch of them still, and I'm gonna talk to you about them. The first thing I do like to use is a color correcting paste. Well, that one's called a paste. Just a color corrector. <laughs> um, the one I talked about in my favorites is the Erase Paste um, by Benefit. I also have Bobbi Brown's. Um, corrector in light bisque. It's good. I've used a lot of it. Um, I think if I were to compare the two, let's look. They're very similar in, in tone. Like They're both kind of the same pinkiness. Um, if anything, to be honest, Bobbi Brown's a little bit lighter, so maybe this is, maybe one's a summer color and one's a winter color, but I need a color corrector, I need to uh, get rid of some of the darkness, and that's what these do. This first uh, concealer is a drugstore concealer that I heard a lot of buzz about um, from my favorite YouTubers, and it's the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Concealer. Um, I have it in the color light, 302 light. It's very thin in cons consistency, it's not a high coverage um, concealer by any means. It almost reminds me of a hybrid between a foundation and a concealer. What I actually liked this for is right after I had Thomas and I did not have time. Well no, I had time to put on makeup. I just didn't really put on a lot of makeup. Um, what I found was is I could just put this under the eyes, dab it on, it spread a little more over the face, and then I threw on some mascara and that was usually my go-to. Sometimes some blush depending on the day if I didn't want to look too dead. But that's what I thought this was good for. If you have heard about this and you're wondering if you should give it a try, price point wise, um, it was relatively inexpensive. It's worth it. And if you're someone who doesn't need a lot of coverage, I do think that it's a great option for you. What's next? Okay, actually, you know what? The next concealer, I don't even have here because I lost it in the move and I couldn't care less. Everyone loves the, I don't even remember what it's called. That's so much I don't care about it. The Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I just don't get it at all. And maybe it's because I don't um, use a ton of concealer for spots. I actually have no idea how to cover acne with, like when I get pimples, I don't know how to cover them. I'm horrible at it, so not the person to talk to about concealers that are good for covering acne. Maybe that's what the Urban Decay Naked Skin's good at. I don't know. I don't like it and I don't get the hype. So maybe your team Urban Decay Naked or Concealer and you think I'm ridiculous, but I, is anyone else on the same page here? <laughs> anyone else think that it's not that great? The hype, yeah, I don't think it's worth the hype. So I don't even know where it is. I lost it in the move. It's probably in a purse somewhere or like the garbage. No, I'm kidding, it's not that bad. I just, yeah, not for under eye concealer, not for me at least. 
no to that one. The next foundation is the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer and it's the one I talked about in my October favorites. So I do like this one, I have it in the color light. It is I think a medium coverage um, concealer, it's you know not the highest coverage one that I have. This might sound weird, but one thing I'll find with some concealers is I'll put on powder and then I'll go to, you know, touch up the concealer later in the day and it just like doesn't react well with powder. This one is pretty good for touch up, so that's always good um, if you are someone who, I mean it says 24 hours and to be fair I've had to touch this up, so I don't know if the 24 hour thing works, um, but I do, I do like it and um, yeah, I'd say it's probably one of the best I've found kind of recently because this is my newest one so I don't hate it no I'm kidding I like it it's good it's a good one okay the next concealer is one that I'm unsure about I haven't used it enough to form a solid opinion on it so it is the cover FX cream concealer looks like this I think this is a Canadian brand yeah, it's a Canadian brand, which is kind of awesome, being that I'm Canadian. So the reason I say I haven't formed an opinion on it is just because I haven't worn it a ton. So I can always do a follow-up. This is my second newest, um, and then I left it in a purse and forgot I had it. <laughs> Classic me. But I do like the coverage. Uh, the color I got, oh, it was light P. That's important because the P stands for pink. So I did get one with a pinkier tone, which is good for under eye circles. And yeah, so the only thing that I have noticed with this one is um, kind of what I mentioned in the last one, where if I put on powder and then I later on try to touch up with this one, it sometimes gets a little bit chalkier and that caused it to set a little bit in some of the lines around my eyes. So I just have to, I think, play around with how to apply it um, better. I also was using this the first time I attempted to like bake my concealer using powder and that was a horrible decision. Maybe I'm also, you know, projecting my feelings on the little baking situation onto this, which is not fair of me. So I apologize, but I like it so far. It's a little bit of, I, I'm not, I, I just am not saying go buy it just yet. I will maybe do a follow-up blog post after I've played with it a little more. First impression, decent, but hopeful for the future. Next! Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I feel like if I had to pick a top foundation, or a top concealer that I could only ever buy this brand, I kind of think I would. And it's the MAC Select Cover Up. I have it in two colors. I use one in the summer and one in the winter. In the summer I use NW25 and then in the winter I use NW20. And I really, really like these. I think it could be because I have drier skin and I really like how they apply. They're not chalky, they're very smooth. I feel like I get a good amount of coverage with one application. They touch up really well during the day. I don't own a lot of MAC makeup anymore, um, although I do want to go get some more eyeshadows. I miss Woodwinked. But I digress. I really encourage um, anyone with dry skin to try these ones out. Um, you know, go there, get the girls to apply it for you before purchasing it. And I am a fan. My next concealer is by Hourglass, and it's the only stick found concealer that I have. I'm really curious how many times I've said foundation instead of concealer in this video. Let's just assume a lot. So. I apologize but I, this is probably this is probably my favorite it's definitely kind of tied with the MAC ones but this one if I could no I don't know if I could only choose one I don't know I don't know what I would pick I just said it was the MAC one I'd pick but I really like this one and it's probably the highest coverage concealer that I have and it works well with dry skin it goes on very nicely it doesn't settle very much in um, my lines and I really really like it so what I have on right now and it's actually what I wore for my wedding as well is I have on the MAC um, select cover up and then I have this on top so for my wedding just because I was tanned I wore the darker shade but right now I have on NW20 and then I have on this and I really like the combination of the two it's kind of my go-to um, foundation oh my gosh concealer Melissa it's kind of my go-to concealer uh, look on most days when I need extra coverage. So definitely recommend this 
I bought it on a whim when I was looking for my wedding makeup and I'm so happy I did. No one recommended it, I just randomly found it and I thought I'd give it a shot and I love it. So I just want to talk quickly about one more concealer and it is the uh, Visible, the L'Oreal Visible Lift Serum Concealer. So this one here is butchered. It's my old one. I've repurchased it since and it's somewhere, um, I kind of lost it in the move. I used to wear this all the time, forgot about it found this, was reminded of it, and then repurchased it. And I really like it as almost like a highlight. It reminds me a lot of the YSL um, Touche Eclat. I seriously am horrible at French. I probably butchered that and offended so many people. I, it's fine, I just kind of prefer this. So the reason I wanted to bring this up is because if you are someone who really wanted to try this, and you're looking for a less expensive option, I kind of like this one. So I thought I'd mention those at the end there um, because this is a concealer, but I feel like if you buy it in light like I did, it kind of does work as a nice little highlight as well. So I wanted to bring those up. And that is it. That is my concealer collection. Did I throw them in a dramatic final scene? No. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you want to let me know anything I said wrong because there's probably a lot. I am off to find some coffee and go check on the little babe because he is being really quiet, which leads me to believe something's happening. <laughs> I got through a whole video without Thomas on my lap. You did it! Kneeling this. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.